Hello everyone, I'm Miko, and I love gaming, and this... Is Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, Fight for the Future. That intro is always, uh, always felt a little wonky to me. I don't know, just, hmm, rapping in my fighting game, I don't know. So yeah, uh, this one, of course, has the largest roster of the entire series with, uh, Remy added and, uh, Q and, uh, where, where's the guy? There you go, 12. Uh, Makoto and uh, Kuma make an appearance, uh, but I'm actually gonna go with uh, Alex, who was who was basically being groomed to be like the next uh, the next big thing. Like he, when they started the uh, Street Fighter Three series, he was gonna be the like main character basically. Like Ryu was around uh, so that uh, old players would have somebody to. Uh, somebody to play, basically, like, uh, familiarize himself with the system and stuff, but, uh, kind of turned out that, uh, Alex didn't end up going places. Ah, with the boot. Well, I always thought that Alex was quite a, quite a nifty character, uh. I really appreciate that most of these grapples are, uh, oh, that's how it's going to be. That, like, these command grabs are, uh, 180s, not 360s, even though I keep whiffing him now. <laughs> there we go. I like, I'm trying to hit his super, which is, which is a 360, but it's, at least, like, it's only a 360, not a 720. But, uh, so I mentioned before, it's kind of hard to do, uh, hard to do 360s on, on a, on the keyboard, so. <laughs> ah, if it. Ah. Dang, not gonna get the 180 out of you there. Also, what was that last attack? Did she <laughs> hit me with her butt? Come on, let me hit you with a... <laughs> ah, dang it, I wanna... There we go. Got her. Hyper bomb. Bomber down by that ass. <laughs> I was trying to do the uh, reverse version to do a bunch of huge rolling backdrops. It's also awesome. Uh, I'm order up. Uh, let's go with Makoto. Everybody likes Makoto. I actually think Makoto is also a very interesting, uh, interesting addition. Although the game has had like, uh, technically had got the characters from the start with Ryu and Ken, like, but she's just like the purest kind of actual got that representation. Come on. There we go. Actually managed to... Uh, managed to parry. More or less accidentally, but still. Got one in there. Another one of the additions that I quite like is... Uh, they changed the input for, uh, for grabs. And it never was kind of a... Big fan of the uh, be close and press forwards or backwards and a and a single attack button because that can always like come off accidentally when you're just trying to do a big hit. Oh, there 
Ah, come on. Okay, fine. I won't do that. <laughs> I won't do the move that I want to do. But yeah, uh, definitely prefer having the uh, like two light attacks being your grab rather than rather than the strong strong attack when you're up close. That's just it's more of like your choice that you want to do it. All right, twelve of us. Joel's always been a weird character. <laughs> like I mentioned, he was an addition in uh, in Third Strike, and, uh, and between him and Q, like they had some weird ideas they wanted to implement. Stomp. But yeah, Alex is uh, a. Alex is a pretty solid set of moves. With like charging attacks, overheads, grabs. He's very versatile. And of course, dead hit, but. <laughs> yeah, but it was so hard, his body shriveled. Dang. Come on. <laughs> Joel's super mobile, though. He's kind of annoying that one. Up oh, and hmm. Ah, oh, whiffed it. Come on. Nah, dang it. Oh no. Up. Oh. Just boot him. <laughs> Not having the best day with execution today, but eh, still, still winning. So. So far, it's okay. Can't escape real fighters of their true calling. Bonus stage. Oh, yay. You know, I've never been a huge fan of the bonus stages in fighting games in general. There's kind of... Begin. That's kind of what you do the fighting part. Just booted to pieces. Also, I'm really a big fan of these, like, uh... Pre-rendered models that they use, uh, they use in games in the late '90s in particular, like this car. Like this car stands out so badly from everything else in the game, from characters and backgrounds. I just kind of wish it had been a sprite, like you know, a drawn sprite, like everything else. Hmm. Uh, I can't recall if I fought uh, Necro yet, but uh, I think I'll actually I'll go with the Remy because he uh, brings up a. Uh, Brings to mind something I was supposed to talk about. Uh, like I, uh, in the uh, new generation video, I mentioned uh, mentioned an article in a Finnish gaming magazine from back when uh, back when the game first came out. And uh, wow, Remy, you're really mobile. <laughs> Chill, so I can hit you. Oh man. Uh, ow, ow, ow. That's not good. Alright. There we go. Got him. Whew. Thank you, folks. Yeah, but the article, uh, I remember having a, sort of an odd tone where it seemed like whoever wrote it, either, I'm not sure if they got super correct info or what, but like, uh, like a big part of it was like, this feels like a reskin of uh, Street Fighter, and like, including the characters, like, uh, of course Necro has uh, features that are reminiscent of a, uh, oh, oh dang it, Necro has features that are reminiscent of uh, Blanca and uh, Dalsim, of course. Uh, then you had to have Ryu and Ken in there, but uh, the all the article also mentioned like Alex, like basically made it sound like Alex was a Gyla clone, and uh, and this was not some kind of like 
incorrect reference to Remy because it was for the first game and Remy didn't exist yet. So they were saying, like, Alex is just like Guile. And, like, had not having played it, I figured, okay, I took it at face value. But, like, when I finally got to play the game and I uh, got to try out Alex, and I, I remember going, like, this is... This is absolutely nothing like playing Guile. Like, okay, he has a couple charging attacks, but neither of them is like Guile's. He doesn't have a projectile, he doesn't have uh, the same kind of an anti-air. So, and he, and primarily he's a freaking grappler. Like, yeah, he has a good striking options, but like, like the thing you fear is the freaking power bomb, basically. So. Ah. Uh oh. Ah. No. Oh, okay, that was a mistake. I'd already hit the attack button when he fired it off. Now I keep wanting to hit the uh, tornado DDT because I think it's a really cool move, but. Hitting it is uh, is not super easy. Ah, come on. <laughs> ah, with it. Ah, that did not go super well. Ah, that's right, deal before me. Do you like the view now? Yikes. That had some undertones. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's choose that color and... Uh, yeah, let's drop the hyper bomb and go with... Uh, mm, yeah, okay, let's go with the stun, but head guts. Head guts? Head butts. I actually saved my favorite one of his supers for last. Ha! Get stomped! I'm not sure if I can follow up the, uh... The shoulder tackle launcher with something. Oh, I've... Oh, it was... Oh, yeah, it was this one. Haha, <laughs> I like that. Ah, whiffed it. Dang it. Oh well. Just headbutt you to death. Okay. <laughs> like how after the headbutt he was on his knees, then he popped up for like a couple frames. Ah. There we go. And just chug him out. Not as good as good damage as the backdrop, but it's a lot safer. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. oh god. Oh. Thought I was over it. Maybe I just used to Alex's size because he he is bigger than you think. <laughs> Sorta. Ah oh, man, now I'm just watching it. Ah, oh, like they only got one hit on me. Oh come, come on! Did I? Oh shit! I did not get over it. Ah, oh. oh that sucks. I can't get it. No! Ah! Dang it! Ugh. You ain't gonna be my roadblock today.